Hi, I'm Dr. Aruna Mohan. I am a pediatric dentist. While we as dentists actively support breastfeeding due to the large benefits it gives both mother and child, it is very important for the mother to maintain the baby's dental hygiene while breastfeeding. Now, though breast milk by itself does not promote tooth decay, prolonged feeding, uh, once the teeth have come in, and teeth come in by the age of about six months, can greatly increase the risk of developing cavities. So what do I mean when I say prolonged? Prolonged usually is over the age of about one and a half. Now the pooling of breast milk in the mouth while the child sleeps off is basically what causes the problem. Bacteria feed on naturally occurring sugar in breast milk, which is lactose, and they can cause cavities. Of course, now the normal question arises, why bother? They're baby teeth, they're going to fall out anyway. It is very important to remember that baby teeth are there for a reason. See, from that cute baby smile, to eating, speaking, and guiding the permanent teeth into the right places, these baby teeth have an extremely important role to play in a child's developmental journey. And also, these teeth only start to fall out when the child turns seven, when the child's seven years old. So a few tips to promote dental health while breastfeeding. One, please start to wipe the gums while even before the teeth erupt, just to ensure good gum health and hygiene. Once the teeth have started coming into the mouth, which is again around the age of six to six and a half months, wipe the teeth with a damp cloth or gauze in between feeds. Thirdly, introducing the child to toothbrushing twice a day is a great thing to do at this point in time. You can start with a finger toothbrush and move on to using a soft bristled child's toothbrush. And finally, it is highly recommended that a child visit a pediatric dentist by age one. This helps parents to air their doubts ask questions about teeth and hygiene and problems can then be averted way before they start.